Welcome to Elias Family Kitchen, everyone. My name is Lynn. Today I am going to make a classic Cantonese breakfast food. It is also a very popular dim sum dish in the Chinese restaurants. It's called cheng fun in Cantonese. It is also known as steamed rice rolls in English. Uh, the best part is I am going to make it with just normal equipment. There is no need to buy special equipment to make this. Let's get started. Check out a complete list of ingredients and tools needed in the description below. We are going to start with making our rice flour mix. You can buy store-bought, uh, that's already packaged, uh, chang fun uh, flour for this. If you can't find it, I'm gonna show you how to make your own. We're gonna need 100 grams of rice flour. This is regular rice flour, not sticky rice or glutinous rice flour. And we're also going to need 40 grams of potato starch and also 20 grams of wheat starch. Uh, it's very important not to substitute these two starches because it changes the texture and the flavor of the uh, chang fan. And we're also going to add 1 8 of a teaspoon of salt. So all we need to do is to mix everything together. And mix it up very well. Next, we're going to marinate the ground pork. Ground pork in the chang fan is classic. Uh, I have also prepared some other uh, filling for it as well. Uh, for the pork, we're going to use ground pork. This is about eight ounces of ground pork. And then into that, we're going to add one teaspoon of ginger, one teaspoon of sesame oil, and then one teaspoon of soy sauce, and then uh, one eighth of a teaspoon of white pepper, half a teaspoon of salt, and then also one teaspoon of a potato starch. And then mix it up very well. Once it's all evenly mixed, just set it aside. Next, we're going to make the sauce that will be served over the chang fan. Uh, for that, we're going to need one tablespoon of green onions, two teaspoons of olive oil, half a teaspoon of sugar, half a teaspoon of oyster sauce, two tablespoons of regular soy sauce, and two tablespoons of water. We're going to start with putting, uh, heating up a small saucepan over medium heat, and then put the oil in there, add the green onions, we want the green onions to be fragrant. So cook it for about 30 seconds or so. And then in there, we're going to add the sugar. We want the sugar to melt. And then add the soy sauce. And the oyster sauce. As soon as the oyster sauce is dissolved, the sauce is done. It's done. We're going to set this aside while we make the chang fun. Next, we're going to prepare the flour batter for the chang fun. We're going to need the flour mixture we put together and then also need water. So the ratio of flour to water is one to two. So one part flour to two part water. So say for example, I'm gonna need uh, one half a cup of flour mixture. And then into the bowl, I am going to add one cup of water. And then we just mix it up very well. When there are no more lumps of flour in the batter, you're good to go. We're ready to start cooking the chang fan. Uh, here are the tools that you're going to need. Uh, I have here a flat bottom 8-inch cake pan, which works very well. 
You can use any type of pan that has a flat bottom, whether it's round or square. Uh, you're also going to need a brush. Uh, we're going to need to brush oil onto the bottom of the pan to prevent the chang fan from sticking. So be generous with the oil. Okay. And then for spooning over the batter over uh, into the pan, you always want to remix the batter before you spoon it because the flour tends to set on the bottom of the bowl. So I'm going to use a third of a cup of batter. You want the bottom to be able to coat, um, to be covered with the batter. Okay. And then we're going to sprinkle a little bit of pork over. evenly and then some green onions okay and then I have the wok here here on the high heat we're going to put this in there and then steam it for about one to two minutes. You wanna make sure that there's enough room around the bowl to allow steaming, to allow the steam to go over and into the pan. So on high heat for about a minute to a minute and a half. It's ready. I'm gonna turn the heat to low while I remove this. Uh, be very careful, it's very hot. I'm using a paper towel here. And then I have here a, a, a pastry scraper. I am just going to spoon it, like carefully scrape it out of the cake pan and onto a plate. Okay, and then I'm going to make the next one. I'm going to make a, uh, a version with eggs. This is two eggs uh, mixed with two tablespoons of water and then half a teaspoon of salt and beat up very well. I'm going to just uh, place this into the pan, into the wok, and then drizzle the egg over the pan. Okay, and then cover and steam. Okay, it's ready. Now we're going to get this out. Ooh, hot. Okay, this is the chow fun with egg and pork. Now, always finish off with a little bit of soy sauce. Next, I'm going to make one with a whole egg. So when it's cooked and you uh, poke it, the egg on the, the egg yolk will just uh, flow out. So as you can see here, I'm putting pork and green onions only on one side of the pan because I want to save room for the whole egg. I'm going to put the whole egg in there and then put this in the wok and steam it for the same amount of time. I want the egg yolks to be still runny on the inside. So one and a half minute would be about right. One and a half to two minutes. This is ready. Okay. It's very hot. Be very careful when you take it out. Okay. 
soy sauce. Maybe a little bit more. With this one, you poke the egg, and the egg is still runny. And you just eat it. the egg with the soy sauce and the rice, the chong fun. This looks so good. Mmm. Mmm. So good. Okay, my son wants a, one with a pork and shrimp. So that's what we're gonna do. Do, 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 do. And I'm actually going to align all the shrimp in the middle so we can roll it in the middle. Oops. We'll probably need to steam this for two minutes and maybe a little bit over two minutes until the shrimp is completely cooked. Okay, the shrimp and pork one is ready. I'm going to roll this over the shrimp on one side. And then on the other side, roll it again over the shrimp and try not to break the chang fun. And then get the whole thing out. Our now it's ready. Check that out shrimp and pork and green onions. You cannot get chump on like this even in Chinese restaurants. Look at that. It's so good. It's hot. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. There you have it. Cantonese steamed rice roll chump fun with various fillings. You can really put any fillings you want in the chang fun, so have fun with it and try to experiment with different types of proteins and you can even put veggies in it if you would like. Um, a traditional Cantonese breakfast is not complete without a cup of tea and a bowl of a rice porridge to go with it. If you're interested in learning how to make rice porridge, this is the chicken one that I made. I will link it in the description below. Um, well, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please click like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.